those 10 parents who started the school, they felt the need for Islamic school for their children. And they were not just asking for something, but they put their heart and soul. They brought, each one brought $10,000, and they said, here is the money. Because money was issued those days. We were, what, 400, 500 people, and money was issued. So they brought the money. They said, here is the money. You start the school. So they were serious and dedicated about it. The name of Granada Islamic School came about because we were thinking of some we want to have some name that was Islamic, that, was, that uh, denoted something about Islam, but at the same time, we wanted it to match the area where we were uh, in California, so that it wouldn't be a very weird name that people wouldn't understand. So names like Al Arqam and, and uh, you know names like this, people would not really understand how to pronounce them here. But because this area was very Spanish, has a lot of Spanish uh, names in it, we toyed around with Granada, with uh, Cordoba. Uh, with uh, even Andalus and Andalusia, we, we played around with those for a while. But finally, we, we chose Granada because Granada was uh, one of the places where there was a lot of learning in Spain and a lot of uh, libraries and, and, that's, and also had a lot of fountains. And that's why the logo even has uh, the fount of learning. It kind of brought this whole thing together. By the grace of Allah Ta'ala and uh, the efforts and generosity of many people, uh, the Granada continued to grow over the years. Alhamdulillah, we improved our infrastructure in general, our teacher preparation program, our curriculum, uh, our extracurricular program, our facility, and uh, Alhamdulillah, this resulted in a, a quality academic and Islamic education program for our students. So after going through high school and then going through college, uh, coming back, it's definitely more appreciated on my part to be around Islamic friends, to be around the good behavior of the students and also the teachers, to be, honestly, just to be in a wholesome environment at school. That's honestly, it's unfortunately, it's almost unheard of nowadays. So the fact that, you know, day in and day out, I can come to work, I can come to Granada and be comfortable in terms of whether it's being Muslim or whatever it may be, um, it's, it's very easy for me. And also I see the students, you know, light up when they see each other, when they see their friends and, and the girls, you know, they don't have to worry about wearing the scarf. They don't have to worry about being teased. They don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of issues that do come up uh, in public school. So it's a very, uh, actually, we're very fortunate, alhamdulillah, to have uh, Granada Islamic School. Um, what makes GIS unique um, compared to other schools I've worked at is being a very supportive community. Um, I think it's stable, doesn't have maybe the turnover of principals and staff that the other schools I've worked at have. And it um, has a great Arabic program and wonderful, wonderful teachers. Teachers, so nice. Yeah, I don't want to change any teachers. They're so nice. What I love most about this school that I like how we have a chance to pray in school during school hours that other schools don't allow us to. I think the middle school at GIS is, uh, is really special um, because of uh, the extra curricular activities that we take on um, such as outreach or service learning and um, some examples of those um, include um, hosting schools, other schools, uh, other private schools, uh, visiting those schools. So our students 
really get an opportunity to act as uh, ambassadors uh, of, for, being, for being Muslim and articulate their um, young American Muslim identity when they take on such activities. What's so special about GIS is they manage not only to sort of strengthen your sort of identity as a Muslim and to celebrate the different cultures that were present here at our school, but also to really make us involved um, as citizens of this really wonderful country. And I think if it weren't for some of the wonderful outreach programs we did and some of the great teachers that we had that taught us to care about current events and things in the news and what's happening in the world around us, um, it would have been very difficult to sort of find your place here. Um, among so many variety of people. Granada did provide a really strong Islamic foundation as well as a very strong academic foundation. I always remembered listening to Imam Tahir telling us, oh, you know, make sure to pray. Even you're in high school, you can say, I need, you know, religious time to go and pray or for a to take off from school. I always, you know, would remember um, our assembly is good Muslim award. You know, it, it makes you feel more confident when you go out into the world. Yes, I'm Muslim and I'm not afraid of that. And Granada really did help bring that structure. Granada really did help me prepare for high school. I found high school a breeze as compared to my friends who didn't go to Granada. And I guess lifting those heavy backpacks did kind of help, you know. From the Islamic perspective, I was pretty sure that they will get good education um, because I knew the teachers um, and it was attached to the masjid, so the environment was good, teachers were good, Muslims themselves. Um, from the other education, um, my expectation was not that high in the beginning. Um, however, um, I have seen especially that my, um, my daughter has graduated um, she is doing very well in high school, so it has actually done better than what I expected. Attending Granada gave me a real sense of community and a support system. So even when I see some of my classmates today who I attended Granada with, like it's like no time has passed. And I think Granada really inspired me to be a Muslim activist and a Muslim leader. And I think that it all started because of my roots and foundation in Islamic school. GIS kind of provides that base, that foundation of just, um, you know, I went to this school. I was raised in this school. I know everyone that came out of this school and I still network with them. And it just provides you with so much other than the Islamic environment. It provides you with friends. It provides you with like this huge network and it provides you with the connection to the masjid at the same time, which is an essential part of the Muslim community. So not only do you get education, you get religion, you get, um, uh, you get sports, you get, you get a whole bunch of things at the same time. It's all, it's an all in one package. One of the things that I saw in GIS is the, its potential to grow and the willingness of the administration and the people to uh, develop and um, nurture the students. It's, uh, I was looking for an institution that set goals and worked towards them, not just set goals, but worked also towards them. And GIS was uh, an institution that it did exactly that. If our objective is to bring our the best of in our kids, whether it's in the academics or in the Islamic building, then we have to invest in that. We have to be able to soar to new heights, offering the best academics that's available to us, and at the same time using the best of resources in our area to be able to get to the best of our kids. 
Our students deserve the best and we are determined to continue to improve our program. We believe we have all the factors of success. We have Islam as our campus. We have MCA as a strong organization that support us. Uh, we have the resources of the Silicon Valley, you know, center of innovation and diversity. And alhamdulillah, we have a very well-educated Muslim community. So we have all these factors of success. Our future is bright, inshallah ta'ala, with your support. And Alhamdulillah, with the best group of people who belong to Granada, and inshallah, this will be the best thing that can happen. And I hope it will last for my grandkids and grand grandkids. And you know, I'm really, really proud to be Grenadians in the past, now, and in the future, and always. Granada is an amazing school, and that Islam is an amazing religion, and, and that the Quran is, is the words of Allah, and that they should believe.